you know what time it is, okay? It's, it's time for you to just get your life everlasting. We're here on the scene. It's me, Tiffany, and usually I'm like eating really fun stuff or like doing makeup or some kind of craziness, but today, on today, I'm with one of the baddies of the game, Miss Seven. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, but Miss Seven, honey. Miss Seven, she's like, hi, boo! <laughs> I'm good. I'm sitting next good. to this baddie. She's oh, a baddie. Listen, it's like get chocolate it, on chocolate. Get, like, get into it. Make sure you get all get, of it. You get got into all the it? chocolate on chocolate? Are you, okay. Yeah. You better get into this poetic <laughs> justice. Yeah. <Okay. laughs> love it. Thank you for, I just, we're supposed to be having an interview, but like she just gives you that girlfriend energy. So you like. You give me good girlfriend energy right? too. Right, just It's nice sis. to you meet me somebody sis. new that gives you girlfriend energy. Sis. And that's so funny. That's what I call my best friends. That's not like yeah. we don't even say. That's your girlfriend. It's like sis. Yeah, sis. What are you doing today? Sis, you ready to eat? And sis, you and, what and you're in you your real true yes. self. Like you mean that's your sister. Yes, this Guys, is my sis. This is my sis. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, you were originally a songwriter. Yes. Right. <laughs> not a lot of people can make the transition from songwriter to songstress. How was it? What challenges did you experience in transitioning? Hmm. What do you have to say to the haters that said you couldn't do it? It was God. No, just kidding. <laughs> you better no, not. No, it's real life. I, I promise you. I swear it was God. Right, right. It was God. Um, it was first and foremost. It really was. Yeah. I have to be serious. Um, and then on top of that, I, I don't know, man. I just, I, my groups had ended. Right. You know, my groups had ended, and I just knew that I still wanted to be in music. I yeah. didn't know that if I would be an artist again. I didn't know how that was gonna turn out. Yeah. I just knew. I'm, I've always been really big at, you know, taking advantage of whatever opportunities God's placed right there in your yeah. lap. He's like, okay, well, I, I don't have a record deal on the table for you right now, right. but I have this writing opportunity right. for you. So what you gonna do with it? And um, ended up just taking advantage of that opportunity, yeah. writing, and had no idea that it would turn into me being able to write for some of my favorite artists in the world. You got some receipts. If you don't know <laughs> what a receipt is, it's a very, very long resume. No coupons at the bottom, like, see, yes, uh, it's just all coin. Okay, no coupon, all coin. No. You've written for... Her. <laughs> you've written for Ariana Grande. You've written mm -hmm. for Usher, who is my baby father, who uh. just don't know it yet. You've written for Chris Brown, who I know is a good, like, a brother to you. Yes. I'm sister, but that's bro. Yes. I know that. Yes. What does it feel like when you write a song? Because I know you could write from a very personal space. Do. What does it feel like when you have someone else say write sing a song that was so personal to you? You know what? Um, it feels like to chink numbers, kid. Um, okay. <laughs> no coupon. No coupon. <laughs> no, honestly, that's honestly that's one of the best feelings yeah. in the world, especially when it's an artist that you love, right? And looked up to. It's right. just like, wait, you you want my words? Right. Like, you want to sing my words? And um, it, it just is nothing like it. Yeah. Um, I am obsessed with that art form, with the art form of, of writing in general, but when you get to write for others, that's special because they're trusting right, you right. to tell their story. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a you know, that's, that's a that's big, a big thing. deal. It's yeah, a yeah. big deal, you know. So. Especially with artists like on your resume that take their craft so seriously. Yes. Yes. yes so yes, yes. when you get to the studio, who is one or a few of the artists that like is just instant vibes and it's super easy to work with? Artist, uh, you know what? I have to say, you know what? Ty Dolla Sign. Really? Yep, that's the homie and a yeah. label mate. Working with Ty, uh, it's just cool. Yeah. It's always cool. He's one of the coolest dudes you ever meet. Yeah. And he's actually on my album. Eyes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ty, she, looks, she, she said, you got some beautiful eyes, bro. Yes, <laughs> but no, working with him is, is really dope. You know, he's actually on my album. He's on yeah. a song called Fallen. So that's, and that's actually one of the songs that I'm going to be releasing over the next couple of months so he's on that you heard that here first yeah <laughs> you actually have a song with the legend the the king of atlanta mr gucci name hey, hey, hey. <laughs> first of all welcome home gucci we missed you welcome home gucci what was that like like he oh, has to man. be a vibe. He's just a vibe. You know what? I actually, we didn't have the opportunity to work, um, to do the song in the studio at the same time. Okay. But it didn't matter. I feel like I just felt his energy through yeah. the verse that he sent. Yeah. You know, he, he just, he delivered. He did such a great job. He killed his verse. Yeah. Uh, it was everything that I could have ever imagined for the verse that I wanted to be on probably. 
And he was fresh out. Yeah, he was fresh, fresh out, out that he thing. He was fresh out that thing when he did it. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just appreciate, he got it back to us in a timely manner. Yeah. It was amazing. Uh, it was just, I like what he said in there because I felt like he was speaking his truth. Right. And I'm really big on that. Speaking just, that and, truth. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was just perfect, man. It was just perfect. So, shout out to Bruce. Appreciate it. Well, those are all my stand questions. Let me get out the other questions that people have. Okay. Okay. Ashley wants to know, what's your favorite inspiration? My favorite inspiration. So it could be like a song, it could be an artist, it could be a color. My favorite inspiration, relationships. 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 That, I mean, it's like, because there are just it's so many different uh, things you can touch on within right. relationships. Yeah. You know, it's, and it doesn't just have to be, you know, like my relationship with the guy, my relationship with a, my girlfriend, right. my relationship with my family, my relationship with my fans. Like, it's just that whole arena. It's just, there's just so, so many much. things to yeah. choose from. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, relationships. Jasmine wants to know who was your celeb <laughs> crush before you became famous. My celeb crush before I became famous, all of B2K. Girl, I used to love B2K, and that's actually my love for them is actually kind of what kind of gave Did me like you? one of my my yeah. first big break. Truth be told, because I loved them so much bum, that bum, bum. right. <laughs> Yes, I love them so much that, you know, at the time I was doing, you know, shows in yeah. the central Florida area. Right. And I found out that they were coming to perform at this high school in Orlando. Uh -huh. And I was like, ooh, I want to open for them. Like, I want to open for them. Did you get to do it? Them. Girl, check me out. So, <laughs> <laughs> I want to open open for them. So, I remember going online. I was like, okay, they're going to be at Dr. Phillips High School. Right. I said, okay, well... What, how do I get a number? Okay, well, let's get the principal's number off the website. Right. So I went and took it to my mom. Um, my mom was my dean at the time, and I took it to her before school. I was like, hey, this is the school to perform, and right. this is the principal's number. Like, hit them, see if I can perform. That's hustle. So okay. she called She called them. They gave her the number to, to the promoter, and the promoter was like, hey, we only got all guys open, and she'd be great. So, yeah. So I opened up for B2K when I was, like, 14 years old, and that led to me being in, like, you in know, a, with, a sister yeah, group yeah. of theirs and signing me to my first record deal in a group. So, yeah, man. It's just, <laughs> also, what I noticed from that story is you have to be tenacious about the things that you gotcha. want. You yeah. Gotta, you got to go out and get you it. You got to get it. You got to get it. Ain't yeah. nobody going to give it to you. You got to go get it. Guys, if you're just joining us, we're live on the scene with Miss Seven Streeta. What it is. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to drop them below. We're having like sisterly moments, but yeah. don't feel like you're interrupting if you want to ask questions. Don't worry. Ask all your questions. <laughs> Steven wants to Steven says that B A N S still hits home. What? You like <laughs> bands? Let me find out. You know what? Anytime somebody said they love bands or like bands. It made me look at them like side eye, like, ooh. You're right, you know what kind of person they are, right? what type of person exactly. you are. Exactly, she you knows like your life. Bands. She knows your I life. I know your whole life, Steven. <laughs> I know your whole life. But um, okay. thank you. Thank you so um, much. Tell me this. I know that Aaliyah is a huge musical influence for you. Absolutely. What kind of emotions are you going through with the anniversary of her death coming up? I know it's very hard for mm -hmm. some people to feel positive about the gift that she left to us, but mm -hmm. I feel like you're one of those people that could... Seek inspiration in that. I, I definitely, I seek so much inspiration yeah. um, from her. But today is hard. Yeah. Today is hard. It started yesterday for me. I, I woke up um, and while I was in hair and makeup and literally was on YouTube looking at all of her old performances. Yeah. Like, I even I even tried to buy um, Queen, uh, no, I tried to buy Romeo Must Die on my, <laughs> on my, on my iTunes, yeah. but the Wi-Fi in the hotel was janky get it together so i was like you, you you're want. messing with my leader you're <laughs> messing with my leader yeah um but it started yeah it started yes it, well it, it's it's all the time for me but yesterday i was so in my i was in my yeah. i was emo yesterday yeah watching all of her things her i was watching all of her interviews and um you know you can't get her last album on itunes mm -hmm. or i don't know where to find it if you know where to find it let me know yep, drop it so i went and was listening to the album from youtube and I, wow. I put it in YouTube and was listening to her. I listened to the whole, the whole catalog, yeah. whole, whole album. Um, but it just, yeah. yeah but yeah. You, I, I had to ask you that because I know she's an inspiration, but also just that kind of just calm, mellow vibe you also give me that I, I would imagine that she had also. Yeah, it was something that was very just like, she didn't have to do 
too much to, yeah. to, you know, to be sexy or yeah. to be confident or, yeah. you know, just to be dope and to be fly. And I think that that, you know, it's something special about that. You, know? you don't get that now in the... You era don't. Of you don't. You know, <laughs> our we generation, we're a little different. Right. You know, we're a little loud. Yep. You know, and that's cool too, but it was something about... That, mis that mystery about her. Yeah. Yeah. Just love, just love, love, love her. Yes. Forever. forever. We have a comment coming in. Sayla asks, what's your favorite thing to do outside of music? Eat. Girl. Why is this my sister, though? Like, I just like food, okay? <laughs> I What's like your favorite? Food, everything. No, um, my favorite, I mean, it's definitely it's soul food. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm from Florida, yeah. from the South. I like soul food. Um, but my probably my favorite thing to eat is my grandmama biscuits. <laughs> my mama biscuits. <laughs> my grandmama biscuits. My grandma makes the best homemade what? biscuits, like fried chicken and biscuits. So when I go home, I put my order in. I'm like, hey, I'm on a flight. Grandma, I'm coming. I right. want fried chicken and biscuits. Right. Like, hands down. And as soon as I step, my grandma, I have landed at home probably like you know late at night yeah and my grandma's been in the kitchen at my at my parents house cooking me fried chicken at Before three o'clock right. three o'clock in the morning like right. we're up fried chicken you probably a chicken. baby i am what? i am i'm the favorite in the whole family you know i said it you heard it here. listen i don't want no family beef don't <laughs> listen don't hop in my dms okay i don't got nothing to do with that my favorite. What did she say when she sees you on TV? Like the first time she heard you like on the radio, what well, did she say? Well, my grandma is so funny and we tease her because real talk, I am her favorite. But <laughs> even before all this singing right. stuff, I always have been. So she'll find any reason to bring my name up. Like she'll be in the grocery store. And this is the running joke of my family. She'll be in the grocery store and be in the line and let a lady in front of her go, oh, I forgot to go get cabbage. I mean, my grandma will say, you know, Amber loves cabbage. You know, I, I made Amber some cabbage last time <laughs> she was here. Um, did you get a new song? Did you get a new That's right. You did better you, plug, did Grandma. Did you see a new magazine? Like, that is my grandma all day. That's how she got to do. My grandma Lois, little silver fox, little short, little... I yeah, can't even deal. Little short, I want to see her appearance on Snapchat of Grandma. Oh, she's been on Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'll show you the video. I gotta see. For her 77th <laughs> birthday, we woke up together. We slept in the bed and we woke up together. And it was on my Snap and on my Instagram. Well, make sure you look out for Grandma Ma. Grandma Lois. Silver, Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Okay, Ashley and Danielle says, advice for any new artist breaking into the industry? Um, you can't be lazy. Mm -hmm. um, you Like we said earlier, you gotta go out and get it. Yes. And, um, you know, if you wanna be a singer, sing everywhere. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, don't be, and I, I say this too all the time. This is so my my message to people who want to be in this industry. When you meet artists, you know, don't be so quick to just only want to take a picture. Mm -hmm. It's not everything. It's not about the gram. Not if you really want a future in it. You Can know you what repeat I mean? that good word you just gave these people? Everything is not all about the gram. It is about the gram a lot of times, but not all but the not time. But not all the time. There not if you really want a real, you know, like a real uh, future in this yeah. business meet artists and you know give them your hard drive or mm -hmm. just you know be Something. business minded yeah. you know yeah we're going to play a quick game uh oh uh oh okay 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 probably or no Okay. Probably or not. Your new single, Gucci Man, is called Probably. Yeah. So there are going to be some things that you probably might be into. Yeah. Or not. Or not. Okay. All right. Probably or not. Chokers. Probably. Probably. Uh, Definitely. I Maybe. I had one yesterday. Like a cute little silver one. You and I got it from Forever 21. I'm into it. Like, yeah. You know what I've been doing lately? What? Going to Michael Fabric Store and just buying pieces of fabric. Ooh, that's smart. Do you got time for to be paying your thirty dollars for a choker, girl? That is so smart. You heard that? That's a dope fashion tip. I'm gonna use that. Super dope. Okay, saving Seven Street or some money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kale. Ooh, probably. Probably. Right? Especially kale salad with I like with all, a bunch of fruit in it and mm -hmm. candy, pecan, walnut, chicken. Yes, all of that. Just everything and raspberry vinaigrette. I feel like a, a cooking with seven. Yeah, I would love to. That'd be dope. Wait. We should do that next time. Oh, I'm down. Yeah. Well, as soon as you get home. Let's do call it. Call me. Yeah. Real Housewives. Probably. Probably. I, I live for Yes, I watch yes. Especially everyone. Especially at Atlanta. You know I love my Atlanta. Love my Atlanta. I'm going to go out and just say that that's the best out of the franchise. I feel like I it feel, is. And I'm from New York, and I should not say that because like, you got to rep your city, but also. But they're just so entertaining. Yes. Like, they're so, yeah. They taught Unfortunately, you know, they appropriated from gay culture, but they taught the world shade. Yes, they did. You know, it's just that and they made it very mainstream. All but all about it. And now people understand that sometimes you just need to be shaded, and there it is. It happens. Speaking of shade, do you do it probably or not? 
Don't lie. Don't lie. I know you a sweetheart, but I know you shaded somebody before. I mean, yeah, probably. 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 I probably do it in some of my songs. I, yeah, it probably, it's probably going to happen on my album. I you probably go hear it on Girl Disrupted. In a lot of your songs. Yeah. A lot of shade. Yeah, I throw that. Nonetheless. <laughs> okay, you more. Uh -huh. Pokemon Go. Probably not. I haven't tried it yet. So I can't really, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't really know. Like, I you know what I kept cool. saying? I was like, I, I, I understand. Like, it's some, it, I, I like the fact that it keeps you active. Right. And I'm all about that. Be active. I was like 20 pounds. On yeah, it. yeah. That, I think that's dope. But I'm like, well, I had somebody say, well, is there like a monetary like reward when you go and you find a Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Well, the guy who first captured all the Pokemon is yeah. now on a world tour with his girlfriend. Sponsored by... Um, uh oh Okay. Whatever company. Oh, okay. So, Got it. I guess if you, like, are crazy, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna need to go, um, get on some Pokemon Go. <laughs> Last one, and uh -huh. I probably know the answer to this. Okay. Bacon. Probably, probably, <laughs> probably, probably. I had me some bacon this morning. Hey, hey. <laughs> I had me some Girl. bacon. I love bacon. I'm sorry. I... I'm Southern, man. I love me some... We should have had you just like a spread of bacon, right? What? I would love you for life. Bacon and Oreos. Bacon. Okay. That sounds you, are like a heart right attack. <laughs> are you single right now? Very single. Guys, listen. Bacon and Oreos, okay? Bacon and Oreos. She don't need no fancy date. She don't whoa, need no fancy whoa, 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 hold up now. Oh, I did too much? I did too much. I, I, need, I need a fancy date. She need a, she need a few dates and then a bacon and Oreos. Dates. Make sure you cook your bacon well. I know I like the, for it to be like a little fatty. Girl, what? You okay. from the South for real? I do. <laughs> like a little fatty, a little fatty. I don't I just like a little crunch, crunchy, crunchy, like crunchy. Crunch. I, I don't like a crunch. I like flimsy bacon. First a of all, bit. I ain't supposed to be eating bacon. My boyfriend was going to say it. I just oh, told him myself. Sorry. Sorry. Wow. Sorry. She don't I'm, eat now bacon. I'm single too. She don't eat bacon. Now I'm single too. I, I eat her bacon. She don't eat it. I don't eat it, babe. She don't, passed it. I don't eat bacon. No. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Where we can find you, what's going on with this album, and what's next for you? The album, when I tell you, uh, this is my baby. Mm. It's my baby. All my music is my baby, but this of is course. like really my baby, you know? Because, um, you know, you don't grow up saying, oh, I can't wait to do an EP. I can't wait to do an EP. Right, right. And I love my EPs, but all my life I've been saying, cannot wait to do an album. Right. You know, you get more records, more songs. Yeah. You, you know, you really get to, like, dive in and create a, a complete body of work. Right. And that's what Girl Disrupted is. And I know y'all are like, Girl Disrupted, yeah, I changed my title. Listen, it happens, okay? It happens. We'll talk about that later on Twitter. Another time. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm very excited about Girl Disrupted. You know, it's, it's about growth for me. I definitely put a mirror up to myself and yeah. had to, you know, reassess the way that I was, you know, making decisions in my life, good ones, bad ones, all of the above. Um, put on my big girl drawers yeah. a little bit and had, you know, disrupt the girl within me, you know? So, See she's just, there. disrupt the girl within me. Catch it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's great. I yeah. can't wait for you guys to hear it. We're very excited. And Thank you. We're so happy to have you here on the scene. I'm so happy to be here. You have to come to back here. and hang out. Absolutely. She's, She's so a, much fun. Uh, like so, I told y'all. Literally, so much fun. Yeah. Guys, she loves our office. She loves me, so you know she'll be back. Yep. Catch her. And they're going to have Social bacon. media all across it. Yes. Make sure... Just at 7 for Twitter, S E V Y N, at 7 for Instagram, S E V Y N. My Snapchat is Lil Streets 7, L I L S T R T Z, the number 7. Yeah. Make sure you check it out for our Silver Fox. Yeah. We'll see you <laughs> next time on the scene. Bye, guys. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and we out.